try to stick with it. So starting today, uh, the first mission that we'll be doing in this Mass Effect 3 or Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough, uh, we've played all the other games before. Now we're on three. The first mission we'll do today is uh, N7 Cerberus Lab. And then we'll probably be going around uh, looking at other stuff. But uh, yeah, we will see. Um, one sec, there's apparently a bunch of Uh, I'm reading something real quick. Interesting. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the first mission we'll be doing today. And then we'll kind of see how far we get, um, what other stuff we do, that kind of plan. So yeah, let's uh, jump into it. Um, last mission that we did, which was last night, uh, I believe it was Eden Prime. Yeah. Okay. It was Eden Prime. Whoops. I always forget about this. Close it out. Now you get to see my wallpaper. Now I reopen the game. I'll come back up for you guys in a second. There it goes. Um, I don't know, dude. I don't know why I always forget about that. Uh, so last night we did Eden Prime, which is technically the DLC mission for, um, for Mass Effect 3, uh, it gives you the Prothean character Javik, I believe his name is. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I found something. Let's see what this is. Wreckage. Fuel Depot. Okay. Enter orbit. The boy Javik. Yes. Indeed. So how does this work for this game? Holy crap, that's slow. Also, I think the volume... But the volume was really low. Prothean data files. So, yeah, I haven't really done a lot of, like, searching in this game. If I remember correctly, they give you some sort of warning before the uh, the Reapers actually show up. Funny, there's like no indication of anything nearby anyways. Okay, I think we're good with this area. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it says the Reapers are there too. Uh, Exodus cluster 28%. I don't know what the percentage is, unless if that means like explored like as exploration wise let me look at each planet i guess i don't know if some of these they automatically uh allow you to scan them or if you have to do something special before you can actually scan them there's eden prime that's where we were at last night And let me check this last one. I know I did Xeon already. Yeah, okay. Well, that's all of them. Go back over to the mass relay. Plot jump. Okay, it still says 28%. I don't really know what the percentage is then. Um, so we're doing the lab. Cerberus lab, I think it's right there. So that's really loud. The flashing circles are the ones uh, on the mass relay map, are the ones that you currently have missions for. Signal confirmed. Okay. Oh, it tells you assets recovered. 
in the top left. Nice. Javelin missile launchers. That's cool. Now, do you have to... Does that mean, like, we have to check the entire... Okay, 50% assets recovered. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Now we have a Reaper alertness down here. I see it. Percentages are how much of the system you've explored. How many assets you got. Oh, boy. Look who it is. The man that is catch. So it, does that mean... So are Saturdays, are Saturdays casual days too for you? Yeah, what's going on, Suter Tie? <laughs> oh God. Ah, uh, the Reapers are on their way. Okay, only Friday, only Friday. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Just curious. But cool, dude. Glad to see you here. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope you're. Uh, I, I went and watched the movie last night, but I I left you up for a bit there while I was um, watching. I, I rewatched uh, Thor Ragnarok last night, which honestly is such a good movie. Yeah, I Thor is so cool in my opinion. Well, I, at least I used to not care about him at all, but. Uh, Thor Ragnarok was actually a really good movie. I haven't seen it, to be honest. I'm a huge Marvel person, though. Like, I, I love the Marvel movies. So, that's, uh, that's me. But, uh, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna go in with Garrus and Javik here. To the Cerberus Lab. Uh... Got some new movies, or new movies, new weapons. I'm thinking about movies now. Got the particle. I think I'm gonna stick with the Maddock. Uh, Javik. Javik. I'm probably gonna give him the, well actually, what's, what's the particle rifle good for? Deadly efficient weapon. I mean, if we have something that increases the damage, I'm cool with that. But I don't think we do. Uh, so am I. I was just never a Thor guy. Always been an Iron Man. Regular guy who keeps up with the mega heroes. Yeah. Ever since, like, the whole roundup. Um, like, with all the characters, like being featured on each other's movies that's when i really got into it before that though like i never watched any of like the other ones like ant-man or um or thor or any of them but ragnarok solid movie really shows off how uh how dope thor actually is forget if they said if the guide i had said that the viper was better or the mantis to confirm good for now i need to watch ant-man i think ant-man and the wasp the bee like lady yeah yeah the wasp that one's a good one too ant-man movies are funny um which is i didn't know that originally let's do sabotage so we have so i'm not even sure sabotage Compromise so synthetics fight on your side and their weapons overheat. Synthetics explode when destroyed, dealing 490 points of damage. Recharge speed. Fight on your side, move faster and do 100% more damage. Increase all power tech damage done to target by 100% for 10 seconds. So we can either do power duration or backfire taken by 30 percent when enemy weapons overheat do backfire hmm or i could actually 
Oh wait, we have five points for the sentry turret. Yeah, let me do that. I use this a lot more than the other one. Um, upgrade the turret with armor piercing ammo, giving it 100% against armor. I uh, cry giving it a chance to freeze enemies for 3.75 seconds. That deals that. I'm looking long, long run here. This is a flamethrower and this one's rockets. I'll do the cryo ammo because I do um, the other one anyways. And my whole, the way my squad is set up is we do a lot of uh, the damage. So I'm gonna do this. If they're within eight meters, it'll hit the next person and take down their shields and then oh man holy crap <laughs> uh dark channel plague an opponent with persistent damaging biotic field effect transfers to a second target if the first is killed effects length depends on dark channels duration only one field may be active at a time hmm I like this one. See if I can upgrade it all the way. Duration. So, duration effects of whether it, it moves to the next person. Slow target's movement speed or recharge speed. Rather do recharge. Increase damage by 50% or increase damage to armor and barriers by 75%. Let's do armor and barriers. So that way even if it doesn't kill them it will bring down their armor and then let's get the first three points for as many abilities as we can here that way he can at, you, at least use them one time okay that's good to me Slam, pull, lift grenade, and dark channel. I love all those because they're all like biotic abilities. And the dark channel is unique. And then I have a lot of tech abilities and Garrus has tech and soldier stuff. So it seems to, uh, to work out. We got a solid team here. Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how this is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what Cerberus is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Ah. I got a haircut today. It feels so nice and my beard. I know I don't have a camera. Well, I'm not using a camera right now. But uh my beard feels so nice because it's nice and uh cleaned up. It was really long and bulky. One day, once I once I have our or On once we have our own place. I'll set up the cam again, so that way I, I have room. Fresh cut, exactly, man. Feels nice. It's always nice when you get a fresh cut. But who knows when that'll be. So for now, no cam streams, it is for me. Funny, I, I never realized how much you fight uh, Cerberus in this game compared to like being in Cerberus in the second game. I, I, I completely forgot about that part. Apparently, there's a lot of stuff to loot in here too, which is which makes it so good. Um, pick up Reaper artifact. Oh, so it bypasses no it. That's Reaper technology. Got the sample. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Nice. Wow. 
No way, is that it? Wait, if I just go back out here and hand it to him, don't tell me that's it. Second sample located, Commander. Nav point oh, okay. Dead. Good work. So you run back and forth between getting them. I think this is one of the maps that they used to use for the multiplayer also. Easy peasy. I remember this looks very familiar, unless if I've done this mission before. I always thought that the multiplayer like wave fighting in this game or mass effect was pretty cool. I've been wanting to re honestly re-download uh, Andromeda because I know some people still play that supposedly. So I've been debating on, on re-downloading that and trying it out again. But I'm not sure yet. Nice, let's see the third one right there. Oh God, come to me. Thirty-seven. Heading back to you now. Jeez. Can I grab this one too? While I'm at it. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like being stranded. Never said it would be easy. True. The audio feels very off in this game, though. Like sometimes it's it's extremely loud. And other times it's very quiet. Like right now, I feel like the the gunshots, like they're decent um, uh, volume. But when I actually like when stay focused, this isn't over yet. Yeah, when Shepard talks, Just it's like quiet. And the way I have it set is looking at my audio options. I have it at one hundred percent for dialogue, eighty four. Bump this to eighty and 50 for music like not very balanced kind of weird I feel like there's a lot of uh, me like moving the volume up and down during it man I remember that I hated this mission <laughs> yo it's going on Anubis Cortez, do you copy? What's your step? I uh I imported Lieutenant, my character from, and I guess I maxed Just out into. Uh, so I I imported my character, and uh, yeah, we we had a bunch of abilities already available. Plus, I mean, I'm not playing on like hard difficulty or anything, so we've kind of been like wiping through a lot of people Cortez, pretty easily. Is likely to be. He'll make it. It's all Let's about the narrative, the anyways. Clear. Although the combat is pretty fun, too. <laughs> Anubis. <soon. laughs> Some friendly faces, I see. Heading for extraction point now. Being uh being an engineer in this game was definitely a good decision too. I probably could have gone Sentinel for uh, for Mass Effect 2, but I'm glad that I went to uh, I'm glad I went engineer again for this one. I'm 100% a soldier. I've tried to play different class, but Dumb Anubis is too Ready dumb. <laughs> I think that's what. From what I remember, at least, I, so I know originally I didn't play one and I, my first one was two. And then after I played two, um, one sec, I'm just checking this area before we leave. Uh, after I played two, I switched from biotic to, uh, to just soldier because I didn't I don't know for some reason I didn't like the biotic abilities but now I kind of wish I did go a biotic class during the majority of my playthrough because I, I love the like pull and shockwave 
um, and other other abilities. Began with Mass Effect 2 as well. I think many people did that. Yeah, probably. Mass Effect Commander, 1 was we've pretty got our early. Engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? Feels like Star Wars kind of lot. But whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine True. its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. <laughs> Yeah, true. Two, then three, then one, two, and three. I definitely did that, like, back in the day. I remember borrowing uh, two from one of my, uh, or one from a buddy of mine. Originally. Back when you used to, like, or, well, back when I used to borrow games from friends instead of just, like, downloading it. Yeah, true. To be fair, Ma I mean, Mass Effect 1 is good, but, like, to be fair, Mass Effect 1 and 2, like, gameplay-wise, are, besides, like, the, the classic just shooting in third person, they are pretty, like, heavily different. And have completely different feels. Um, for that, and for plot. And all the characters, too. So, either way, still cool. Um, I found something. Oh, nice. Found two things. So, once you do a one scan, it tells you in the top left of uh, when you're next or how many uh, things that you can find. We got three tattoos from Mass Effect 3. That's sick. <laughs> uh, or from Mass Effect. I'm waiting for a pandemic to be over so I can continue with my plan to close my right arm with that theme. That's awesome. I have... Um, from returning to this game, I, I do want to get something Mass Effect related as a tattoo. Um, I have my left arm is completely done and i'm doing my i just texted my, my tattoo artist today um to get started on my right arm my right forearm because my shoulder both shoulders are completely full for me i actually have uh so i have a lot of tribal tattoos um like as in just like your generic tribal but on my right shoulder inside of one of the tribal areas i have the assassin's creed logo if you look close enough you can see it <laughs> um so that one's really one that i love i also have uh majima majima from yakuza games uh i have his back tattoo on my forearm yeah, tattoos are addictive. They really are. I, I love them too. Like they're so they're so cool. They're they're such neat art, you know. Uh I forget what were we doing next? Okay, hold on, let me check. What's on our guide? Cerberus, uh they say planet scanning at this point. Then back to uh, da, da, da. Okay, I see what we should do. Um yeah, let's uh let's do a tiny tiny bit of exploring real quick. Uh let's go here. The Horde symbol, Superman symbol, and Mass Effect stuff. Nice. I love all that kind of. I love I love like video game and film symbolic tattoos. Like, I have Carnage on my right arm. Um, I've had the Spectre symbol. That's sick. 
I want to get the N7 symbol somewhere. I don't know if there's anything out here. Looks like it might be dead. And I don't think there's any connecting systems to this this area. So I think we might be just moving on to the next one. Hmm. Uh Let's go here. We'll get closer to the citadel. Harness is the best. Yes. See, my thing is though, and I know it's going to probably sound a little weird, but I, I do all black tattoos, so it's technically carnage, but there's no red. Um, but you can, you can tell like a lot of times, like the people that have noticed it, they're like, Oh dude, is that carnage? And I was like, yes, it is. We are transferring your docking clearance to an Alliance official. Figures. Finally back in action. The Alliance already wants us to I remember when they released Maximum Just Carnage. Just our way of I was welcoming like, you Dude. back, Flight Lieutenant. <laughs> uh, yes, ma'am. Requesting docking permission. Docking permission granted. Would you like private transport arranged? I need to get to the embassies. Yes, Commander. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have said hospital first. That's all right, though. Citadel embassies. Um, I think we actually still can. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Yeah, let's go to the uh, One moment, Memorial Hospital first. It's hot in here. My room right now. now. Arriving at Huerta Memorial yes, Hospital. I know your stock of modified metagel is low. Oh shit. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to be Shepherd. right here. When I heard Earth was under attack, I tried to call. I never got through. Thane, good to see you staying in shape. My disease kills slowly. With enough care and a healthy lifestyle, it can be a venom fanboy. Of course, my allotted time has come and gone. Now I exercise because it pleases me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Then I made a visiting a friend, Caden. He got hurt protecting it. here and gave him the human biotic and intensive care. How's it? <coughs> I saw the marks of an implant. Yeah. I'm actually pretty Way excited spoken. for the next uh, he seems Venom movie. Sort. Your enemies may try to finish him Cletus. off. Here. Good old Cletus. I will look out for him. I appreciate it, Thing. <laughs> I am near the end of my Literally life. Literally eating people. It is people. a good time to be generous. Kepril Syndrome has put most of my other plans on hold. I wish the best for you, Thane. And I for you. Do not grieve for me. I have good doctors. My son visits regularly. Perhaps we will keep up via the extranet now that you are free. Until we meet again, Shepard. Good old Thane. Dude, I, I love Thane. I wish that we could have had him as another in this game, but... President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half. Ah, uh, let's see. He piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. I don't know who to support. In this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. It's completely tasteless to call this place Huerta Memorial. Huerta? President Huerta died of a stroke two years ago, ma'am. I think you meant to say the man was dead for an hour and a half and his political enemies piled on enough propaganda to get the hospital name changed. He can't remember his own name without the B.I. in his head telling him what it is. Trust me, in this building, we know dead. The Supreme Court says he's alive. Five justices say he's alive. Two of them appointed by him. The name is what it is. 
It's completely tasteless to call them. Okay, Having I'm just drive here. your body isn't life. Are Reaper husks alive? You did not just say that. But it's the same thing, isn't it? He walks and makes noises just like they do. Fine. I guess I'm just surrounded by zombies. <laughs> Hello again, Commander. You're to see our patient? How is Caden doing? Very well. Uh, have you uh, made the grunt hospital mission already? Undetectable now. Nah, I, I don't think so. Observation, but he should be fit for duty soon. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Go see if he's awake. Um, all, all I've really done so far is... Uh, we did Mars, Citadel, Palavin, the uh, lab, and Eden Prime, and also the Academy, and that's it. So we're we're pretty early on in this game still. Yes, I'm trying to place a call to Grissom Academy. I overheard you talking. Grissom Academy is gone, but I found this while I was there. What is this? Yes, these are tailored to human physiology. But with a few alterations, they should work for the Asari as well. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You are welcome. All right, let's see. Wait, can we Tell talk to her again? Tell Major Akathita that our Huntresses should have the upgrades waiting for them on their next short. No, they were very easy to scale. The humans made some amazing breakthroughs. I'd like an answer, Major. The galaxy has need of exceptional soldiers like you, now more than ever. You'll have it soon, Counselor. I promise. I look forward to it. Shepard? Udina? Udina. <laughs> hey. Shepard, hey. You, you just missed snack time. Actually, that's probably a good thing. Thanks for coming. No problem. What did Adina want? Still thinking about the Spectre position? That was a big honor. A huge responsibility. Just need to be sure. I got you this. Wow, thanks, Shepard. That's really great. Just a little pick-me-up. Maybe when I'm out, we can crack it open and celebrate. I am so ready to get out of here, Shepard. You can't tell, but I'm tied to this bed by medical red tape. I'm a doc. Doc says I'm good to go, but then she always finds just one more test to run. You doing okay? My implant got a little rattled, so Doc just wants me to keep the biotics offline for a bit. It's really no big deal. Need me to break you out? <laughs> I'll let you know. I'm glad you asked me to come. It's good to see you're gonna be okay. Thanks. You almost died on my watch. It was horrible to see. I want you to be straight with me. So I just want to make sure, after Mars, after Horizon, you and me, we're good. We've been through hell together, had each other's backs. That kind of bond is hard to break. No, not just that. You were my commander, sure, but you listen, too. We went through Ash's death together. Yeah. We did. So what do you say? <sighs> Are we good? We're good. It was great to have you oh. back on the Normandy. Uh, all the power like just the uh, kind of yeah, you know, I'm dimmed down for I'm a sure second wrong about Cerberus, and came back up. So I've been wrong about you. If I go offline I at some point, the Normandy. wish I could come with you. You'll know why. Take care of yourself, Caden. We need you at 100%. Will do. Thanks for coming. It was only for like half a second, though. Holy. Ah. Listen to me, those uh -oh. are vital. We need it just flickered again. It's only raining outside right now, though. So. You can replace my leg, right? Hopefully, nothing. Uh, hopefully, uh, it doesn't happen today. <laughs> the one day I have tons of time to actually play. Okay, it seems like everything else here is good. Uh, right? We talked to Thane, Michael, and that. There is this station. Yo, what's going on, Veda? Yo, how you doing? What's up with the layout? They uh, just like right now. Welcome to Uh, 
keeping it chill, you know? Keeping it nice and uh, simple. Recently, at least. I don't know when the last time you stopped by, but I've been doing uh, no no cam for a while. Now, that's fair. <laughs> yep, I keep it, I like keep it in nice and simple right now. Just as I do One other moment. stuff. Let's hit up the Presidium Commons. I don't think we went there last time. Now been a long time indeed. I hope everything is good with you, man. Have you been uh have you been streaming Things lately? And if I pretend to be happy over the bin, it's not fair to him or to you. With all the craziness that I've been going on. Let's see. So we have a corner over here. Uh, Liara is here. Edie and Joker. Apparently they're all chilling over at six in this area. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. None of us knows how to fight. Mackenzie's a biotic. Dave and Graham go to the pistol range. Oh, and Orion's always buying mods for his shotgun. The one he's never even fired? I love our friends, but we are not combat material. I just... I can't sit around watching what's happening to Earth anymore. Oh, great. So, you want us to enlist as soldiers? Isn't there anything else we can do? The military needs everyone they can get. Oh, I don't know who to None support. Cause, to so, in Shepard's thing, Dave and Graham go to the pistol I would range. tell them no. Oh. And Orion's always buying mods I mean, I, he would say yes, but fired. as myself, I'd be I like, friends, if you can, if you have another option, material. do it. Just, but also, I can't sit they don't help, and the Reapers could take so over anyways. So, I'm gonna support Gung Ho. The Alliance can use your help. There's plenty of non-combat roles. Yeah, there's uh, that too. Thanks. Who was that? <laughs> the first human specter? Wow, Commander Shepard? He thinks we could do some good. Okay, I'll look at that recruitment. Nah, sure. since my birthday, I stopped Maybe streaming and did one stream on April, and other than that, looking at um, looking a bit more up. I moved to a new place with the GF on start of May, but stuff is chaotic. Basically, baby is the way. I don't have my come back to streaming, to be honest. Oh, good man, that's all good. I totally get that. I know life gets in the way and stuff. And there's other things. I mean, honestly, I, I just make time for myself, and it's what I enjoy doing. So that's really the main reason that I stream as much. I love this Blood Dragon. But I, I absolutely get it, man. I hope everything else is good with you, though. I hope you guys are doing good. And, uh, yeah, I'm always here, too. So I totally get that. Um, SMG recoil. Let's see. There's tons of Next modifications here. SMG magazine, sniper rifle concentration mod. I just feel like I don't have a lot of credits though. So I'm not going to buy anything right this second. Actually, let's talk to. Oh, Marla Vaughn. Selling now would be unwise. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supplies. Wow. Holy crap. They actually have a lot of stuff. How do you like Legendary Edition? Uh, personally, per uh, personally, I've been loving it. I think it's been awesome so far. Um, revisiting the entire series has been amazing. It's been really cool. Um, seeing like all the stuff that I completely I uh, don't remember or Any just like randomly remember how was Mass Effect 1? Credit. Mass Effect 1 was awesome. It was a really good start to the game. Um, don't be left out in the cold. Ask for for this uh, trilogy. Warranties. I played through all of them. I played through 1, played through 2, and now we're on Elkos 3. And I've been doing a good amount of side exists. content too. So like not a whole ton, but like the essentials and DLC and, and stuff so credit. they all look really good and the game runs like flawless besides I have had two crashes in Mass Effect 2 but other than that everything has been really good Don't to be, be honest in the cold. Ask about our full service warranties. 
Like I, I've absolutely been loving it. Uh, I'm checking to see if they have any of these any goods can only be rifles. M96, um, Maddock. I think that's what we're using Air right now. So we're good. And we Vindicator and Relevant. Um, Shotguns, Locust, Tempest. Ask about our full service wait, is that? Warranties. Oh, that's submachine guns. Oh, wait, this is Mass Effect 2. Hold on. Combine. If it exists, we Looking up uh, this site that I've been following for, like, weapons. Um, okay, Cerberus Harrier. Typhoon. Don't Lancer. Ask about our full service warranty. Saber. I don't think any of these are here, right? How about submachine guns? N7 any Hurricane. Blood Pack Punisher. It's right here. This is the submachine gun. This is their, don't be left out their the second best Ask rated about SMG. Um, I might actually pick that one up. It's only 10,000 credits. Combine, Got exists, 93 now. Um, then Geth Plasma, but we have the Blood Pack one, El so we're good. Combine, if it exists, Not really going to buy it. any of the shotguns. And then the other things we're good on. For store credit. So, striker assault rifle is that listed in here? Don't be left out in the cold. Ask about our full striker. service warranties. Striker. I don't see that one. Okay. Cool. Please visit any of our Seems good. Combine affiliate branches for any and all personal needs. So we got some purchases there. Um. Yeah, I'll have to change out my loadout at some point. We switch from financial BI to military gear and we'll lose millions. Commander Shepard to refer to Who cares about the money? Haven't you heard the news? I've seen Palavin burning. Those fires aren't going out anytime soon. If you can help. It's cool how you can have little conversations with other people in this one. Anybody else? Anyone want to talk? Anybody? Nobody? Alright, that's okay. Oh my god, is this that couple? But what if there's another attack? We can't spend our lives waiting for that. We're in the middle of a war, and I'm just supposed to send you away every morning. I remember you two. Michael and Rebecca, right? Listen, do whatever is best for your family. Just do it soon. Things are bad out there. We will. I remember these people. From Mass Effect 1, they're arguing about getting the, um, uh, like an implant. And then in Mass Effect 2, you just see them, uh, talking in a shop. And then in this one, you can actually support them. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Ah, this is the one that this is the thing that my guide says is probably one of the Proceeds best. From all purchases go to help our men and women serving. Fighting a nasty lives. headache, so try to hit a hot as fuck shower to kill it. Hopefully, it didn't work. Sorry to hear, man. That sucks. For the best in the business, come to Casa. Come to Casa. What? That's me. All goods have been marked down with our special wartime discount. Yeah. Right, this was the one. The M90 Indra. For yeah, I'm gonna pick it business, up. Come to Casa. Come to Casa. Inferno Proceeds armor. Purchases go to help our men and women serving in the Alliance. Thank you for shopping at Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Is that actually oh Casa K S A K A S S A? Hello, Shepard. Shouldn't it all be free? You, like you clearly own it. I know, that right? That is a safe assumption. Anything big and world shaking? I should just name. Oh, dude, I thought the game crashed. I got a notification from Steam. Scenarios in my head <laughs> to analyze Jeff's behavior. I believe he is a. 
affection and attachment, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. When you are sexually interested in another, what kind of advances do you make? <laughs> you know, there are the intimate talks, thoughtful gifts, joking around. Jeff does often try to lighten the mood with humor. That could indicate a 33.3 repeating percent chance that he cares for me. But that is insufficient data for determining his motives. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. So it's gotta be natural. Provoke. You need chemistry. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired <laughs> emotional state. No, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? <laughs> it appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Nobody ever fell in love without being a little bit brave. Bro. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. Nice. Get it. Hey, Commander. Check it out. Big news. The Blasto movie is breaking opening week records. There's also a big expose on Quasar tournaments. Tips on how to make your apartment look bigger. And, oh yeah, a big-ass Reaper invasion. Uh, These people have no idea. When big events shake up the galaxy, people cling to what's familiar. Sexually active or about you Say that like it's a good the future. Thing. It's better than riots in the streets. Not wrong. I just guess. look at Japan, dude. I just wish there were a middle ground. You know, a little less gardening advice, a little more warp. Thank you, it was Japan. It'll happen. Once there's something people can do to help. Meanwhile, they ignore the unshackled AI walking around the Presidium. She run into any trouble? No, no, she's my mobility assistance mech. <laughs> Thanks to Vrolic Syndrome, I'm legally entitled to bring her everywhere. Finally getting some use out of those disability benefits. Mm -hmm. I'm sure she appreciates getting out to see the sights. Ah, she's earned a little shore leave. Nice. Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All Citadel gift shop. Welcome to no what do they events. got? Ah, it's class casually selling a Shoot smart. Uh, Shoot. No SMG or the heavy pistol at a <laughs> sport shop. All licensed huntresses may apply for a professional Collector discount. armor. The collector armor is always so cool. I wish some of this Our stuff was po co pos cosmetic, <laughs> Thank you for shopping but it, unfortunately it's not. Good hunting. No, was that Seth I Green? Yo, what's going on, Fred? And yes, it is. Seth Green does the voice for uh, Joker right there. This guy but your manager said you could give me a has been trying to get a refund for three years. In every single game, you can see him trying to get a refund. I could deny him. But I am going to support him. The sooner you refund him, the sooner you go home. And wait till you see how much it is. Really? Yes. You mean it? Of course I do. A full refund? Yes, congratulations. The whole 15 credits. Oh, wow. Hey, thanks. 15 credits for three years. But I believe it. There's definitely people out there that would. 15 credits. Meanwhile, half of these cost. 4,000 credits. Proceeds from all sales go to help the troops on Palavan. We appreciate your Wow, there's so many shops here. I never realized. Venom shotgun. 
I thought it was going to be a lot more same, dude. But yeah, in every single game, in the first one, I can't remember. Oh, he's in the market talking to one of the people in the first game. Uh, then in the second game, he's nearby the warehouse um, trying to get a refund because he was told to go there. And then in this one, he's right there and you can finally, you can choose to support him or not. I thought that was pretty funny when I actually um, saw that in a an Easter eggs video. Stabilize the heating unit so the water temperature can remain steady. The colony's location is hardly ideal for our species. The clutch will be imperiled if we do not act soon. Of course, I will do everything I can do to help. Heating unit stabilizers. Where's that at? Wait, that's Codex. Find them or bring them to him in the Persinium com Commons. I'm like trying to click on these and see like what the objective is. Like a drop down, but it, they don't do that in this one. They only did that in the second game. Let me save. It's been a little bit since I did it. Or casual. Or like a uh, manual save. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's weird how they give some people character names and other people not. I'm holding y'all for a second just to see if they say anything like, oh, can you find me this? Oh, can you find me that? Alright, so do we go to the right or to the left? Uh, I guess we went to all these. Go to the left. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't think we can do anything with these. Okay, let's try going to the right. Nothing there. All right, let's go back down here. I think we need to get to the next area. I think we got pretty much uh, most of the stuff here. So, put up this. Welcome. Let's go to the holding area. Citadel embassies. Terminal for Purgatory bar. Let's go to the holding area. I forget if this took you to. Uh, I, I want to get to the specter thing, but I forget where that's at. Garris. Okay, I don't think it's here, but I know it's not here. That's okay. We'll just talk to people here first. After we finished exploring on the Citadel, I need to get another drink. Yes, we can. Tell your friends to move their ship out of the docking bay. Wait, please. My family's on board. Just let them land. I'll pay. This isn't about money. The wards are already at capacity for refugees. There's just no room. You let Asari in here earlier. That's back when we had space. Where is my family supposed to go? Sure, you can't squeeze in a few more people, no. officer. And who the heck are you? Oh, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. <laughs> if that's what you think, oh. I'll, uh, I'll find them some room. So my family can dock. Commander Shepard says your family's cleared. Just tell them to hurry. I thank you, Commander. Thank you so much. I mean, there's plenty of couches right here that are open, so. Excuse me. What was your name again? Uh, Bikar. Christophe Wasser. Good to meet you. How long have you been here? I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the... I don't know how long it was since I escaped Lyon. Do you know Lyon? No. 
Okay. There's somebody over here. We have faced Batarian State Arms. Harpoon gun. Remember the Stand strong for your Terminus armor. State arms. Show the galaxy our resolve. Melee damage. Cool. We're starting to get a lot of uh, side missions from here. Hopefully, we get the items like while we're out, actually doing missions for other stuff too. Because that's what it seems like. Okay, nothing there. Let's check on those Metagel supplies. Yes, sir. And have we heard anything from the hospital? The the Shepard VI. Keep on. And some of these wounded don't have much time. You are looking at VI model 1.7 AGB, Commander Shepard. Please see a store clerk to unlock a demo of this model. What the hell? Sales. You have a copy of a Shepard VI? Oh yeah, the one based on that war hero. We locked it after some kid spilled soda over the hardware. I'll unlock it, but we've only got the demo version working. Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. <laughs> Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. I was about to say that. Those things? Except the Reapers. My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance Military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. All right, let's talk to Garrus. Shepard. What's happening? We convinced the Council to accept our wounded. Nowhere else to go. How bad is it? More dead than injured. 85% killed in action. We'll need a morgue soon. Not a lot of flesh wounds when you're fighting rapers. Casualties are that high? Our frontline units are being wiped out whole platoons at a time. A single Reaper can destroy nine or ten of them in one attack. That's not war, it's slaughter. They're called Reapers for a reason. And these guys found out why. Do what you can for them. A few of them might get back on their feet, but the rest... Sympathy is about all we can offer. Hmm. Any sign of your family? Not yet, but I keep hoping. What about you? I'm starting to see some wear and tear. I won't lie. It's been rough. Well, don't forget to come up for air. A lot more war to go. Sounds good. Eesh. Ah. Uh, I think that's just about everything in this district. I guess we never came to this one the first time around. Let's head back to, uh, what's the next area? I guess we should go in order, because I always get lost if not. Uh, hit this. Go to the bar. Thing. Actually, never mind. I don't remember where we were at. Oh yeah. I know people are complaining. We're doing what we can with what we've got here, but let me finish. Our power grid can only handle so much power before it shuts down, and we can't use the backups. No, 
the new regs apply to whole city. Management knows this is important for morale, but we can't go over budget. Look, I'm not touching the back. Pretty cool, just watching that even the, in the background. Even in 2021, this game is well. Honestly, all these games have been pretty impressive. Assholes. Shit, they just kept coming and coming. Not even sure from where. Fucking hell. Poor Bill. They didn't have to pick him up like that. This place is sick. Hey, you ready to get this party started? Uh, hey, now. So you admit you and your Who's sons this? are here illegally? Yes, and it only took C-Sec three huh. weeks to figure it out. I don't care who you are. You're required to go through processing like all other refugees. Come with me. I don't think so. Shirk, get me the Asari counselor. Greetings, Arya. Is there something you need? I'm being asked to submit to immigration processing. Of course you are. Done. What else can I do for you? Nothing. Thank you. My pleasure. I think we're done here. Enjoy the show, Shepard? I guess there's one rule on the Citadel, huh? I guess no so. No people. I hate this place. So sickeningly uptight. Then why are you here? Cerberus stole Omega from me. The elusive man is now squarely at the top of my ship list. He will pay for every second I've spent in this bureaucratic hellhole. How did Cerberus defeat you? Deceit, distraction, and a big fucking army. They lured me away from Omega and ambushed me. I escaped, but Cerberus had already laid siege. By the time I could launch an assault, they were too entrenched. At least you escaped to fight another day. And that day is coming. I'll take Omega back, but I'll get to that. You're here because I have a proposition. I'm listening. Proposition. The way I see it, if you don't defeat the Reapers, we're all dead. True. Won't matter where I'm sitting. It's in my interest to help you. What are you offering, Arya? On Omega. I kept the blood pack, loose suns, and eclipse in check. Now they're running amok. Nobody wants that. Unite them under my rule, and you'll have a powerful and ruthless force for your war. I've laid the groundwork with all three groups. It's actually what I, I was about to say. To the deals. Give a criminal a gun, he'll shoot you in the back. They already have guns, Shepard. I'll make sure they point them at the Reapers. I'm trying to help you. Why don't you think it over? Meet with Narl, my agent who's dealing with the blood pack. The Blue Sun's leader is incognito here on the Citadel. He'll be expecting you. And I already have a deal with Jonas Sedaris, the Eclipse leader. You just have to get your friend, Commander Bailey, to let her out of jail. You obviously don't know Bailey very well. <laughs> what Bailey is he doing with you. his hand? <laughs> Lean on him. <laughs> I think a united force of professional mercs is worth it. Don't you? It's always a pleasure, Shepard. Not wrong. Let me know if you want to talk later. I mean, if they actually do the job. And stay, uh, stay within their limits. Not a bad idea. The bartender is dancing more than some of the people out here. That's really like her job. Who's this? Oh, James. Oh, he's a party guy. Hey, Commander. Nice to see you down yeah, here in the dirt it. with us grunts. You don't think I like getting dirty? Oh, now, come on. I didn't mean anything by a loco. Uh huh. What do you mean then? See those Marines over there? None of them officers, just soldiers fighting the war. Yeah? 
They've been buying me drinks all night. You know why? Same reason they got all quiet and serious when you walked in. You don't seem intimidated by me in the least. In fact, you could use a little more deference. <laughs> sure, but I've fought with you. I've seen you in action. Now, don't get me wrong, you're good. Probably one of the best. Probably. But I know you're human, just like me. But not them? Nope. Hell, I still remember the day they made you the first human specter. I watched it on the vids, just like all of them. But to them, you're still larger than life. I've seen a hell of a lot, but I'm still just a soldier. I'm still one of them. Sure, but they don't know you. They just know what they've been told. Listen, you want them to see you're one of us, right? Maybe. Then buy them around. Let's not overdo it. Well, you could at least buy me around. I had a <laughs> feeling you were working up to that. Yeah, and I have a feeling you're not going to buy me one. When we get back to Earth, I'm buying. You sure you don't want to buy me a drink? Damn it, morale is pitiful. The troops need something to bring back their fighting spirit. Remember the stories of the first regiment of Catholic? Banner of the first regiment. Wow, we're getting tons of uh, side mission objectives. I mean, as long as we get them, like, while we're actually out doing missions, that's cool with me. I have no problem coming back and handing all them in. Uh, okay. That's bar here. Complete. Let's see. Still need to go to the lab there. Um, where's Miranda? I think she's on here, right? At least she sent me, like, an email or something. Uh, Volus on the Citadel needs the book to inspire his people to recover it from Irene and return it to him. Help the resistance movement by getting them the server's intel. Okay. We have tons of stuff. Peace. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. Okay, so we went there, went there, went there. Let's go to the Citadel Embassies. I think that, yeah, because this is technically where we first came in now at, at, and then we didn't Embassy. really talk to anybody because we went to the other areas first. Cool. Yes, I have spoken to you before. I fully understand the situation. Of course, I read through the names of the dead every day, but... Please, please, a few more minutes of searching could mean a lifetime of peace for my family. Someone in your family is MIA? My son Bilal. And bureaucratic Wait, I heard somebody else say that. Seems to be in short supply. Say that name. I am Ambassador Dominic Osoba. My son's squad returned from their mission on Benning without him. I found them drinking, but they won't even look me in the eye. I can offer a bounty for any information. If Balao's alive, we want him home. If he's dead, then... then we can begin to mourn him. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Thank you. Either way, you will set my mind at ease. Tell me you have found my son. Not yet. My apologies. Thank you for looking. Okay. Alright, so we need to... Uh, well, if we can... Please tell, tell that guy about that. Shrike <clears throat> Abyssal, Orthian Oblisk. But we spoke about this already. I told you about his mission and... Nonsense. I just filled out the paperwork. He's very punctual when he's on the field. He checks in every week. Only... 
He hasn't checked in for a while now. A month. Anyway, I'd like to file an expedited contact request. Yes, of course, ma'am. But the notes on his file state he's not going to contact you. You already looked. How kind of you. I'm just so worried. It's not like him to go quiet for so long. As soon as I get news, ma'am, I'll let you know as soon as I get news. All right, let's chat with Commander Bailey. Shepard, what do I owe the pleasure? Here to talk about you releasing Jonas Sedaris. Damn, you too? Somebody got the council to order her release. I'm delaying as best I can. What's your stake in this? It's classified. That's a fancy way of saying mind your own business. Look, there's no <laughs> way I'm letting that sure. psychopath out. The woman's unstable and a clear public threat. What makes you think she's crazy? She was a ruthless sadist before she got caught. Her imprisonment has cracked a shell off the nut. Maybe freedom will improve her. She rages day and night, Shepard, calling for the deaths of all Eclipse enemies. No, freedom will only give her the chance to kill. I'd like access to her to judge for myself. Sure thing. I'm sure you'll agree. Then maybe the Council will listen to you and rescind the order. Go to the CSEC outpost. My assistant will connect to Sedera's cell from there. Then call me back. Okay. That's easy enough. Uh, is there anything? Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedera's. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Nothing else from him. Where to talk to him about? Commander Shepard. John Dumbau. Special tactics and recon. I've got intel suggesting that high-level Hanar officials may be indoctrinated. That's a damning accusation. What have you got? Evidence of an Alliance Black Ops team raiding a Batarian research station. The Batarians were studying Reaper technology. The Batarians had Reaper technology? The Alliance raid turned into a massacre, and the humans ended up with nothing. Your people faked a power failure to hide the incident. The Batarians would have gone to war if they'd found out. But how does this implicate the Hanar? They maintained discreet gray market trade relationships with the Batarians, and led the Alliance to the station. We suspect those Hanar operatives escaped with Batarian tech. If your reports on the Reapers are accurate, they could already be indoctrinated. What's your source on all this? It was an anonymous gift, but I believe it came from a thief named Kasumi Goto. I've been after her for years. Oh, years. shit. Kasumi, you're hunting a thief? A master thief. Her intelligence and skill are almost Solarian. I'm sure she'd appreciate praise from the Spectre who's chasing her down. I only need her data. I admire her personally. And since she sent me this, I assume her feelings are mutual. What do you need me to do? The Hanar operative is now a diplomat on the Citadel. I don't have a public name, and the Hanar will go to ground if I make a formal inquiry. So we're hunting. I'm tracking suspicious transmissions to the Hanar homeworld. I could use your help. Let me see what I can dig up at the Spectre office. Thanks, Shepard. And for the record, not everyone doubted your concerns about the Reapers. I just hope we're not too late. Ah, we go straight there. Okay. So... <laughs> Remember when you helped me get Katie's hey. gray box from Donovan Hawk? The one with information that could start a war. Information like an Alliance Black Ops raid on a Batarian research lab? I figured it wouldn't hurt to leak it now. Especially if there really is an indoctrinated jellyfish out there. Crazier than usual. If you don't mind me tagging along cloaked, maybe I can help you dig up some dirt on the Hanar. I'd appreciate it. Citadel Hanar Diplomat. All right, let me use this real quick. Secures information access and support for authorization of covert operations or requisitions. It is restrict. restrict yeah, restricted to operatives currently on active duty with special tactics and reconnaissance. All operations require payment can be executed at the terminal. Shepard, I'm checking security reports. Can you track the transfers coming from the Hanar Embassy? On it. Bao's got a good plan. Hanar. Sec. 
Ooh, this is that uh, so pistol. Absolutely. Okay. He's a good specter. Anything the galaxy in their terminal use should narrow down our uh -oh. suspects. The fact that he's trying to arrest you? Well, nobody's perfect. Okay, so, uh, we have enough for this, or we could go the other route, get the hurricane, which is the best SMG. Always other route, always. <laughs> um... Wait, is it the SMG? The Harrier's the best one. N7 Typhoon. Do we see that? Oh, we do. 150. This is the second best. Heaviest assault rifle. Um. Seven Lancer. Or I can get this chess piece. I don't know, man. I don't know. M77 Paladin? What is that? Uh. I'm gonna pick this up. And shield regen speed, I'm good. That. All right, now we're broke. What were we doing? Find evidence. The Hanar and the Presidium. Nah, we won't get to the range. Kill things for money. True. It's always the best way of making money. <laughs> Kill them. Remember, no the Russian. Alright, let's talk to you, Dina. Shepard? Never mind. I should I'll be here. Goodbye. <laughs> He has nothing to talk about. Other than asking him questions. Alright, so what are our stuff now on, uh... Citadel? Need to find that, find that. Find evidence in the Presidium Embassies, contact him. Wait, isn't that where we're at? Citadel Embassies? Unless if there it's a different area. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One City and Commons. And maybe you can fast travel over to it. Now arriving. I'm gonna take a nap to fight Commons. off this headache. Sounds good, man. Hey, man, I, I I hope you feel better. I appreciate it though. Thanks for uh, thanks for lurking, man. I'm gonna have to get a drink here. We're we're here a lot longer than I was expecting. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. They contact the field teams for Dr. progress Bryson. report. Yes, sir. I agree. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been Thanks expecting you. Love too. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. I'm Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. What's your assignment? Our mandate is to investigate legends, rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. That's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? 
The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. And how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. So you're in it for the challenge? For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth was proven to be reality, our entire history changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we can just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. Could have used your help three years ago. Yes. If people had paid more attention to your Prothean beacon, we might not be in this war. But now with new information we've uncovered, a breakthrough's near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! <laughs> what the... This is Commander Shepard. I need C-Sec at my location, now! You shouldn't be here. The darkness can't be breached. Transit records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. Shepard, I monitored a C-Sec alert from this location. Were you harmed? I'm fine. But I could use your help sorting this out, Edie. Take a look through their files. I need to know what this task force was up to. At once. What? I... What's happening? You tell me. I... I was gathering our data when you arrived, and then... It was dark. Cold. Like... I was someplace else. And then? I don't know! A gun was in my hand. Dr. Bryson, there was... a loud noise. That was you shooting him. I didn't do it, it wasn't me! You have to believe that. So someone else pulled that trigger? But I would never do that! Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. Indoctrination? Me? What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you wanna... Gah! What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Damn it. Get them over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with them. Yes, sir. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Dr. Bryson, you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating, I think we're really onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? Exactly. That's the real Leviathan. It's worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It appears we were meant to be that assistance. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Hmm. This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. And here's the log. Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. 
Maybe I can project our Reaper killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say, then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path. And crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his colleagues evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. So, galaxy map? Does this tell us where Garneau went? No. But we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Hmm. Can you add a search filter for locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Adding the search filter, you may examine the results in the Galaxy Map program. What the heck? Husk head. It's still cranial. These are all murders in which the accused. Here's the time and date chart for the crimes. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. Let's try to analyze it. Prothean artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Blackout crimes? No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Um... Bryson was tracking unexplained creature sightings. Oh. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, a lot of you had a search uh, filter for going systems on right along here. that projected path. Adding the search filter now. Cool. Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Meteorite sample, with traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Adding it now. By Anne Bryson. Finding. H9. This Tons does not of, uh, seem relevant at the moment. Huh. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the Rakdai. Their movements during Tons the Rakdai of wars is alien and, influence. Uh, but the timing is wrong. And Rakdai weren't in mods, with the Reaper modification. What if Leviathan was preparing the Rakdai to fight the Reapers? What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. If we can find data on the movement of ancient Rachni ships, those appear to be sightings of ships that match Rachni signatures. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Doing so now. Sovereign, vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Close to his heart? What the hell does that mean? 
Maybe literally? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted, per Bryson's statement in the log. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Ah, close to his heart. We'll take a look at that. I can use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. Let's get back to the data pad we found earlier. Dr. Bryson, per your request, I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the level 5 disk. The dreadnought is in custody. Decryption complete. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garneau used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Of course. Of course. Yeah, like a search filter for everything now. It's still ultra light materials. Nice. That should help. All right, let's try out all these holy filters so we have. <laughs> Reaper activity. All right, let's enable all of them. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Element zero deposits. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Rachni activity. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Alien sightings. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay, so I think. Let's see. Some of these looped each other. Let's disable this one. And alien sightings. And this one. Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. I have marked the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Oh. Prothean artifacts. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Yeah, let's narrow the search. Five possible systems. So if we put Reaper this on activity. Okay. Five possible systems. Put Alien on this sightings. Three possibilities. Three. Okay. Blackout crimes. None. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. Rachni activity. No results. No. Nope. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Three possibilities. Let's go. Element zero. Deposits. Element zero. We might have it. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Good. Let's go find Garneau. Nice. Yeah, having to find that by ourselves, that'd be a pain. Oh, there's a nice. Ooh, another mod. Almost walked right past that one. Cool. Uh, let's go back to Bay D24.
Not bad. Not bad. We're making good progress here. All right. So. Miranda, she's in number three. Okay. Um, hold on for just a second here, chat. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick and also make myself a drink. So I'm just going to pause for a sec back in it. All right, so we're going to uh, go chat up with uh, Miranda now. Got myself a nice drink. Some green tea uh, packets. And we'll see what else happens in game. Right there. Commander Shepard, it's been far too long. We live in interesting times. A little too interesting. I couldn't get anywhere near you when the Alliance had you locked up. Relieved of duty. It was complicated. I'm sure it was. I'm surprised they didn't court-martial you. The Alliance isn't known for its flexibility. Doesn't matter now. Shepard, about Earth. Countless people lost their lives within minutes. The Reapers are everything we feared. They should have listened to you a long time ago. I'm sorry, Shepard. What about you? What brings you here? I need to talk to a few people. Like you. The Citadel is a good place to meet. For now. What's the Alliance's next move? We have a plan. It's a long shot. <sighs> Not surprising. Shepard, there's something I wanted to mention. What is it? I haven't heard from my sister, Oriana, for a while. I'm getting worried. Your sister? Yes. I don't want to overreact, but... Well, there's a lot going on. I thought we made sure she was safe. We did. It's probably nothing, but I just know my father is involved. What happened? I don't know. Everything I had in place to make sure she was safe went dark. What do you need from me? I appreciate the offer, Shepard, but you have your hands full. If I need a door or two kicked down, I know just who to call. But for now, I'll be fine. Okay. I understand. I have to figure this out. You will. I've got to get back to it. And I should get out of sight. Be careful. No promises. Okay. Jeez, this area is dirty and dusty. This stuff in the hair. Citadel. Find schematics for our power and grid and deliver them. Aria. Speak to Narl in the Persinian Commons and gain the back. Okay. Go over to the. Well, actually, let me check. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. Presidium Commons. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Number two and number five. Uh, so two is down here. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. He's offering to... The council call the invaders Reapers. The same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. Quick, hands behind your back. We'll be here any minute. What the hell are you talking about? Crete, Blood Pack's leader. Aria brings him the great Commander Shepard. Crete pledges the gang to her. We're just luring him into the open so we can take him out. Not the best start to our friendship, Nero. He's coming. Put your hands behind your back and uh, try to look like I beat you up or something. This better be on the up and up. 
quiet. Arya Talok, even more powerful than Crick thought. Her instructions on boarding Citadel undetected were one thing. Now this. <sighs> Commander Shepard wants you to know your head will be hood ornament on my personal shuttle. Keep your distance, Crete. So, do you agree to Arya's terms? <sighs> Most definitely. Arya can use blood pack as she sees fit. Wasn't talking to you, Crete. Grill? What? You have my word. Now open fire! Not him. Grill's next in line to take over. Arya's deal is with him. Yes. Yes. I'm Arya's mole, Shepard. You've scratched my back. Now I'll scratch yours. Nice. Word of advice. Don't double-cross Arya. I may be ambitious, but I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Good work, Narl. Thanks for the gun. Anytime, Shepard. Grill and I will let Arya know the light is green. Cool. That was easy enough. Blasto six partners in crime. All right, now we need to go to uh, three is Laria. I don't know. Did we talked to Laria. You don't think Sanctuary is real? I don't think we talked to Laria while we were here. There's the C second assistant. Yo, what's going on, bad? How you doing, man? I've connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell commander. You can speak with her via that console. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. When you're done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. You have to move on. And I will, once all my enemies are dead. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Saying my second in command is a weak willed toady. Good you. I'm doing pretty good, man. Balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Got a nice haircut Tell today. Bailey to release me. And trimmed up Bailey, my beard. I've seen Sideris. So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from you. What have you been playing recently, by the way? What you, uh, what you been up to? Uh, where is Liara? She's at three, the Apollo Cafe. Oh. He wasn't here last time. Where is she? Cod, Modern Warfare, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Oh, there she is. Still working? 
<laughs> I only play more Kombat 11 another. for one reason. And here I was only. hoping What's I'd have that? time to enjoy the view. The last time I saw the Presidium, remember how it was all rubble after Sovereign attacked? I barely got to see the Presidium before half of it got crushed. Sindel? And by the time they repaired it, it was time for the next invasion. Citadel hasn't seen the reality of this war yet. We should stock up on necessities while we can. I'm gonna have to Google Such it. As Ezo, heavy arms, mercenary groups. Well, now I see. <laughs> we'll get the people. Take a moment for yourself now and then. I know, I know. But there's always just one more task or meeting. Speaking of which, talk to the Volus, Barlavon. He'll point you to some mercenaries willing to join us. I want to play through Mortal Kombat 10 and 11 and the DLC. Hello, Shepard. Bad, like soon enough, at least. I don't know when, but eventually I do. Citadel, okay. Find that. Nar Diplomat, when you find that. Find them and bring them to him in the Citadel. Presidium Embassies. Um, on the Aspian Crest. Citadel Refugee Camp and gain allegiance with the Blue Suns. And gain allegiance of the Eclipse Band. Waiting on my DoorDash food delivery? Nice. What'd you get? I had, uh, I, I ate a little bit earlier today. I did this meal, like, delivery service thing for the first time, and the meals have been actually pretty solid. Like, actually really good. The one I had today was, um, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it right now. Uh, it was coconut pancakes with pineapple and uh two sausages so good it was actually so good like i feel like i went to a restaurant and it wasn't that expensive i got like 12 meals for like it was like 90 dollars which for meal delivery service isn't too bad or some mcdonald's today is my free day hey man it's all good <laughs> i'm almost Four months out. So my goal is to try to actually, I need to restart everything, workouts from, Welcome, and food. Shepherd. So my goal is to start soon again. Area and just like interest, low carb, moment, everything. And potentially try to do keto. I wanna try to do keto for like a month straight and just see how I do. And if I really like it, stick with it. Or if not, then switch to just low calorie, low carb. But I haven't gotten there yet. Soon though, soon. Okay. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the Citadel Embassies. See if it's here. Now arriving at Presidium Three Entry. terminal. Yes, his squad did return. I could have been... Bow, I have some possible hits. Got some strange money transfers on Balone, and Alun is sending a lot of data. Balone's clean. His money transfers are to support his mistress. Right around the corner sure to my house, so luckily I don't have to wait too long. I'll check Olin's yeah. personal records and pull his recent messages. Can I just note how odd it is for Hanar to have a mistress? You know, if Bao catches up with you, I can grant you immunity. <laughs> what, if I join up? The one by me is really close to, and they're also really fast. I didn't fast. say you had to join up. You were working your way around to it. You know what else is funny? There's a there's a Qdoba from me that's like 
a solid 20 minutes away but i i swear there's been times where we we ordered from qdoba and 10 minutes later it'll say the order has been picked up and then like another 15 20 minutes it's here like it is insane how fast they are sometimes like in a good way though let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. I've already went to that terminal, but it still wants me to go again. Almost every restaurant and fast food joint you can think of is near my house. Nice. There's there's a good amount of them that aren't too far from mine. Um, and they're pretty good too, for the most part. They're, McDonald's is usually pretty fast for me too. Shepard, I should go. I'll be here. Okay, just want to chat with him. I think that thing's bugged. The terminal icon. But yeah, the, the uh, McDonald's by me usually always delivers really fast too. I've been going back and forth for a lot of these areas. Please select a destination. You could try going back to the bar. If you have a question, please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. Docks One holding moment. area. Let's go to the holding area. I want to eventually get off Citadel because we're almost now done all these. Wow, Alun's doing some heavy lobbying for the Hanar to support the award. So he's clearly not indoctrinated. Who's opposing him? An unnamed Hanar recently posted here from Kajay. I'll check transit records for incoming Hanar. It all comes down to the war. And you trying to pull everyone into it. Would you rather the Reapers win? I'd rather spend whatever time I have left with KG. KG wouldn't want you to spend all your time plugged into that thing. Well, he shouldn't have died then. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades. The Alliance on Earth. Incoming Reaper forces. You should visit. I, I was on my boat when fierce fighting continues as the Reapers come running back. To State Arms. Oh, nobody to talk to right here. Hey, actually, let me check. Uh, four, five, five has a ton of people to talk with. Where's the memorial wall? Eight. Oh, oh, that's a memorial wall. I didn't realize. Nice. I've got a list of new Hanar arrivals, Bob. Forwarding it to you. Damn. These are all face names. The Hanar names from the Alliance raid are soul names. And Hanar soul names are private. There's no public record. Can you get back to their personal communications? On it. Maybe we'll find names there. So how's the rest of the gang? Met up with anybody else? Garrus is helping out on the Normandy. He never could pass up a good fight. What about Jacob? Haven't heard from him. See, Jacob could have gotten me back onto the Normandy. I thought you were happy with your memories of KG. Hey, I'm nostalgic, not dead. <laughs> wow. Arya wasn't kidding. The great Commander Shepard on a leash. I'm here for my own reasons, Bosk. Oh, sure you are. Anyway, tell her I'm impressed, but to do business, I still need my little problem taken care of. Which is? A Torian general named Oraka has it out for the Blue Suns. He's raising a stink over our activity in this sector. I'll commit my gang to Arya as soon as Oraka's dead. There must be more to Oraka's complaint. We're just making little raids along trading routes. With Arya's blessing, I might add. 
Oraka's just some military fossil who came out of retirement to relive the glory days and justify his existence. Losing him won't affect your war in the least, but gaining the Blue Suns, well, you know our work. You seriously think I'll assassinate a Turian general? Arya seems to think so. Or else, why would she send you? She knew the price. The two of you work it out. Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Tell Arya I still expect her blue ass in bed with me. What is it, Shepard? You knew about this? Can you be more specific? Darner Vosk expects me to kill General Araka. Who cares what Vosk wants? What he needs is for Araka to stop disrupting his operations. I figured you'd talk to Araka, see if you can get him to lay off. And if he won't listen to reason, call me, and I'll take care of him. I don't see the distinction. The distinction is that I'm giving you the chance to save his life. Right. Why didn't you just tell me this yourself? Vosk needed to see you, needed to realize who he's dealing with. Plus, if I have to suffer that scumbag staring at my tits one more time, I might have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned... That I'm going to sleep with him? We all have our delusions. We just got a report that another ship made it off Palafin. Men, get ready for trouble. Not here for that, Sane. Just want to talk about Jonas Sedaris' release. Oh, you're the one coordinating that, right? My idea, you know. Arya came to me looking to gain Eclipse support. I'm leveraging it to bust the boss out. Sane, you should run Eclipse. Huh? You can do it. Leave Sedaris locked up and make the deal with Arya yourself. Hmm. Arya would be a step up. And you think she'd let me run things? I don't see why not. Right. Right. Then that's the plan. Keep Sedaris in jail. I'll call Arya right away. Good man. Nice. Uh, found a way to deal with him. Terminal and Garrus again. All right, let's get back to the terminal. I think we'll almost hop off of uh, Citadel soon and, and actually go do some main missions. Almost. Shepard, the council withdrew the release order for Citadel. Arya Tolok of all people got him to do it. Crazy. You can say that again. Thanks for your help, Shepard. Val, here's the correspondence. If there's any mention of soul names. I've got it. A recent arrival. Zemendis. Soul name regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair. He was with the Alliance team that massacred the Batarians. He's been on special research assignment ever since. So he got his tentacles on some Reaper tech. Looks that way. I'm sending you the nav point for his office. I'll meet you there. Okay. Uh, is there a terminal we can fast travel to that office? It's not here, is it? Five Garrus, okay. Literally gonna start munching on caffeine pills Welcome to kill this to headache. Please select <laughs> the destination. Thanks, man. Thanks. Areas tagged of interest to you are highlighted on the elevator menu. Uh, let's see. If you have a question, please consult an Avena terminal for assistance. Trying to see what we should do. We're at. Areas tagged here. of interest to you. One moment, please. You can try this one. See if there's any areas to look at. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Office five. Okay, cool. The correct area. But what I need is proof. I there he is. The terminal icon still stuck. Zamandis? 
or should I say, regards the works of the Enkindlers in despair? It seems this one has been apprehended, but confinement is irrelevant. The work of the Enkindlers cannot be stopped. Why are you trying to help the Reapers? We obtained information regarding the Enkindlers from classified sources. The Enkindlers? You mean the Protheans? Yes. As you are aware, Commander Shepard, the Protheans eventually became the Collectors, and the Collectors served the Reapers. Ugh. You have got to be kidding me. Therefore, as a faithful servant of the Enkindlers, we too must serve the Reapers. You big stupid jellyfish. <laughs> you know, to put religious freedom for all species, but that's just crazy. Your skepticism does not matter. When the Enkindlers uplift us as their chosen sapients, the galaxy will bear witness. You're insane, and we can't allow you to endanger your planet. We're taking you into custody. Your belief in your victory is mistaken. Our planetary defense network is largely automated. It can be disabled with a single virus. Which I have just uploaded. Damn it. Wait. A virus would be detected unless sent on low priority channels, which have a time lag. I may be able to block the upload. <laughs> you may be delayed. Help him! I'll handle this! Got it. Uploads disabled. Looks like we're in the... Wait. He's got some kind of failsafe. Get down! She was here the entire time. She was an old friend. I intended to arrest her. She helped me take down the Collectors. And she just gave her life to save the Hanor homeworld. Point taken. It was an honor to work with you, Shepard. When the time comes, I'll be there to return the favor. With a few friends. Nice. You can come out now. How'd you know? <laughs> Lucky guess. There's no way you're recruiting me to fight in a galactic war. The Crucible Project needs technical experts. I'm not a scientist. No, but you're the best thief in the galaxy, and you can hack unfamiliar technology better than anyone. They could use your help. And think of it. All that expensive tech just lying around. It's not like they're gonna check your pockets at the end of the project. You say the nicest things. All right. I'm in. And Shep, nice working with you again. Nice. Kasumi Goto, Spectre Unit. How to bribe a thief 101. True. <laughs> and our and Drell's forces. Cool. We got a bunch of stuff from that. Um, I think we're good in this area. Yep, all we have now is Commander Bailey. Welcome, Commander. Let's Shepherd. go to the bar. We haven't been to the bar in a bit. And if it tells me anybody new to chat with, then I will talk to them. All right, let's go chat with Arya. And then after we talk to Arya, I think we're just about good for now. Didn't think I was making it off, Benny. There will be a free, with quotation marks, a free. <laughs> Look who's here. But not wrong. So what's on your mind, Shepard? I know where to. We'll be seeing each other. Okay, is that everybody? So do we we got the eclipse, we got the other guys. All we need now is the blue suns. Find a way to deal with Baraka. Sun. I think we're good here. 
I think we might actually be able to just go back to Normandy. All right, let's head back and turn to Normandy. All right, I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. Because now, if anybody clicks on the stream for the next 30 minutes, they will not get any ads um, when clicking on it. The benefit of no pre-rolls is honestly worth it sometimes. Because I wasn't doing anything anyway, so it was just Shepard standing there. <laughs> uh, okay, so now... Yeah, that's the only one, uh, the nice thing about them. And a lot of times that's the only reason, like, even bigger streamers do it too. I think bigger streamers, if they run like three minutes of ads, then it's turned off for like an entire hour. But if you do 90 seconds of ads, it turns pre-rolls off for 30 minutes. And if I actually pull this over real quick, I can show you. So, whatever, dude. Not like I'm anything special. Right here, as you can see, it says pre-rolls. Uh, and yeah. So now there's a timer for the next 30 minutes. That's off, and once it's done, then it's done. And yeah. Yeah, it also one tip that is actually pretty cool too is uh, if you run ads the first minute that you start your stream, normally before people even get the notification, it will turn off pre-rolls for the first 30 minutes as well. So that's one thing I've been doing as well. So I'll start the stream and before people are even like in chat, like if you do it once the minute starts you run it and boom when they click on the stream by the time they get the notification click on the stream they shouldn't get any ads yes same that's actually I actually subscribe to Twitch Turbo. So I don't get any ads now. But if we ever get a working ad blocker again, then I'll probably end up getting that. Um using that instead. But for now I have Twitch Turbo because I can't stand ads either. And I watch on my i uh or not iPad, but a tablet at work or my phone. So having no ads, it's a, it really is a game changing experience for Twitch when you have no ads playing in front of a, it, it's such a, a game breaker or for me personally, when I would click on people or I wouldn't actually stop by certain people's streams because I don't want to watch an ad before clicking on their stream. Like it's just, it sucks. But like, I'm like, I don't want to click on all these people's streams, watch a ad and then get to the chat. Like, I want to be able to click on it, see them say what's up. Because a lot of times I don't stop by for as long as I want to, but I try to do what I can. That's the only time I don't mind watching them, but it's just the way that Twitch does it is very inconvenient. If there is like a click on it click on a stream go to it and then uh you're able to like watch the first 10 seconds of the ad and skip it um towards the like later on uh like if you watch like youtube when you click on a video you watch like the first five seconds then you hit hit skip and it goes to the video <clears throat> if you could do that i would do that I wouldn't mind ads if they didn't play same ones over and over and over. That too. I wouldn't mind ads if it was like a 
one every like so long too like the fact that if i click on your stream and then click on somebody else's and then the next person and say if i'm like stopping by only for a minute just to see like or if you're searching or if you're searching for a new person to watch like say if you want to just check out somebody's stream it's such a game break like it breaks a lot of people they'll not if they don't know who the streamer is they won't watch the ad for 30 seconds to then be able to see the stream and then be like oh i don't want to be here or this person's not for me then they won't want to go to the next person that's the biggest problem if you're doing it for somebody that you know or you're already following that's totally fine like a lot of times i wouldn't have an issue but if you're searching for a new person or a game that you've never watched before majority of people are not going to wait that 30 seconds to find out whether they want to actually watch that person or not and that's where it really hurts that's where our pre-rolls hurt so much and the exact reason on why when i step away if i do step away or i'm not doing anything i'll roll those ads so now for the next 22 minutes and seven seconds if somebody clicks on my stream, they will get no ad and decide whether they want to stay or leave. Which is the best thing. I like to visit folks with one to two because they are starting. But the ads do make it hard sometimes. Exactly. And like, it's really hard when you're searching. When you know who you like to watch, it's easier because you know what to expect. So you click on their stream and you're chilling but like when you're searching for somebody new or, or even if you're just going between streams that's when it gets really hard um so yeah i once saw an africano and twitch beyond some B yeah they they pop up it's like it's like that like 3 a.m like when you're watching tv at 3 a.m and they're like call this number now to have a hot steamy conversation with a woman <laughs> I remember those ads on TV call this number now you don't have to be alone tonight <clears throat> but yeah yeah that's how so that's you need a third monitor so I can run twitch dashboard up that's how I do it I have a on my left monitor I have Twitch dashboard and OBS and then on my right monitor I have my stream PC which has OBS also I like listen if I want to type go to tinder alright uh, sorry I got very distracted and I've been trying to look at this thing here uh, so priority circash we have that right all right that's what we're gonna do next sir Kesh. that meet with the diplomats i really wish they would say the names of the missions not your objective. There one side. Yeah, delete. You can so what you can do is uh you can export your OBS settings. Um you can save them. If you go under tools, I've done it multiple times. Especially when I change things up on stream um, You can export your profiles. That's one thing you can export your scenes and your profile saves all of your settings so like your uh, Video settings audio all of that your Scenes saves all of your scenes So you can export both of those and then when you go to a new computer if you have those files transferred onto that new computer, 
and you can hit profile import and then you can also do scene collection and import and it'll literally put all of your stuff as if you've been using that one the entire time Have you done a motherboard swap before? I honestly, for that big of a thing, no, I've never done. Um, I've only done like little swaps of parts or adding in uh, of uh, <clears throat> motherboard swaps. I wouldn't know at all, to be honest, because that's you literally have to basically take everything out. It's like building a new PC from scratch, essentially. Commander. The Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have Help. them brought to the conference Help. room. <laughs> and hope this doesn't start another war. The Krogan is in no position to make demands. The Krogan has a name. Erdnot Rex. And I'm not just some junkyard Varen. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. He wrecks. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So why should I care if a few Turians go extinct? Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. Yeah, he changed I have really no time quick. for it. Just tell us what you want. I'll tell you what I need. A cure for the genophage. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. Why are you so opposed to the idea, Dalatress? Because my people uplifted the Krogan. We know them best. You mean you used us to fight a war you couldn't win? It wasn't the Salarians or the Asari or even the Turians that stopped the Rachni. It was Krogan blood that turned the tide. After that, you ceased to be useful. The Genophage was the only way to keep your urges in check. Dalatrash, you may not like him, but Rex is right. Insulting him won't change that. I won't apologize for speaking the truth. We uplifted the Krogan to do one thing, wage war. It's all they know because it's all we wanted them to know. Your people should have thought the matter through then. Was it really a surprise the Krogan revolted? That's precisely my point, Commander. We made a rash decision. We turned to the Krogan in desperation. It's the same mistake you're about to make today. No good can come from curing the Genophage. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The Genophage has gone on long enough. 1,476 years, if you're keeping track. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Enough! Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. My information says otherwise. A Solarian scientist, Malin, grew a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our females. I remember. His methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess and to take them prisoner. Where did you get this? It... it could be a fabrication. Don't insult me! Those are my people! They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back! Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sirkesh. But I warn you, Commander. The consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. Let's go get them. You're not setting foot on Sirkesh. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Spectre, Shepard can oversee the exchange. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. Yes. 
All right, let's do this. Yeah, some of these counselors, man, they are something else. Cool. So we've got some new weapons here. Let's throw this on. So that, that brings down the weight. Oh, wait. I think actually we have even the better one, right? Yeah, this one. That's a heavy boy. Now it's not. Nice. That thing's clean. Weapon customization in this game is pretty cool. Power recharge speed. I think I'm going to get rid of my pistol because I don't really need it. And I have the Maddock. So that's good. Go to... Actually, wait. We might have... New items to equip. That's fine. Can I give him a different weapon instead? Or can he only use that? Yeah, I'll only use a pistol. That's fine. Increased headshot damage. That's cool. I'll leave him with that. Um, the Indra. Increased damage by 15%. By 15% helps aim through the smoke. Red shot capacity by 50%. do that firm all right we got abilities to upgrade um i think i'm gonna wait because i i do want to get sentry turret max wait on that and here we have to wait anyways yo what's going on termo gang studios thanks for the alert appreciate it one easy the plasma round we're headed to they aren't used to seeing krogan here so let's keep it simple we land get the females and leave before anyone changes their mind I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. He wouldn't be king then, would he? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have a Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex! No! Oh boy. We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? <laughs> Shepard, restrain your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. 
I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth paying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <sighs> I can handle this, Rex. Anything goes wrong and all bets are off. <laughs> I'm off to a shady wish, start. I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can <laughs> see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we went to Chanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention biolabs. Please prepare for yard specimen arrival. This is where all you Solarians uh, come from, huh? Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. It's been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. I mean, what else are we gonna do here? Ah, oh, this. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. We've already been down that road. No more. <laughs> it's a feces analyzer. Commander Shepard, Lieutenant Tolan, I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds <laughs> yeah, special renown in STG. <laughs> the assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. <laughs> but now, I'm not so sure. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. Agree with him or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. Another incursion? Uh, let's chat with you him. have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Now take this elevator down, and someone will... What's happening?
Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. All specimens are accounted for, sir. Shepard, excellent timing. Good to have you here. Morton. Eyesight still sharp. Surprise, understandable. Hadn't expected to return to work. You're back with STG. Special consultant. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Helped female Krogan. Fed information to Clan Erdnot. Encouraged political pressure to free female. You must be Rex's inside source. Yes, can explain later. Security warning's not normal. Need to get off world for sake of Krogan. Females had weakened immune systems. Side effect of Malin's cure. These... didn't survive. But what about Malin's research? I thought we saved it. Indeed. Data saved, but not complete. Lacks crucial details to reconstruct cure, but still useful for synthesizing from living tissue. Couldn't save them. I'm sure you did everything you could, Morton. Arrived too late. Cannot delay now. One survivor, immune to genophage, can synthesize cure from her tissue. She's still here? Yes, last hope for Krogan. If she dies, genophage cure... ...problematic. Please be careful. Krogan's slow to trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? That would serve no tactical purpose. Erdnot, Rex, and I are here to take you home. Why? What am I to you? Have the Salarians been mistreating you? Those are my sisters you saw back there. They died in a lot of pain. Did the best we could. And now I know I'm the only one left. That makes me dangerous to a lot of people. What about you, Commander Shepard? Why are you here? You're the future of the Krogan race. I'm fighting for that. Future of the Krogan then I race. I hope you brought an army. Alert. Unidentified vessels have breached the perimeter. Give me an update. Outbound communications have been severed. We're cut off. Secure all data to off-site location. What's happening? We have multiple ships inbound. Oh boy. Only one survived, Rex. It might be safer down here. What? So the Solarians can kill her like the others? No deal. If you still want this alliance, get her out of there. Release the female. We're leaving. I can't. Protocol states during lockdown, no specimens. <laughs> Objection noted. Now <laughs> please release Krogan. Nice. Need to monitor pod as it clears quarantine procedures. Meet us at next checkpoint, Shepard. Likely Cerberus opposes Genophage cure. You'll see Tachanka again. I promise. Get to elevator, Shepard. Hydrate. All right. I took a quick sip because we're about to get busy. So sad to hydrate. It's all right. There, try it now, Commander. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh God, crap. there's a bomb. Get back! Are you all right? Bomb. Everybody Is there another way out of here? I'm moving, I'm moving. I took the shuttle. Do whatever it takes to get the female. Taking enemy fire from the Pacific Caltech 4. Direct reinforcement. Ah, stuck. Oh shit, Cerberus. Oh, 
Damn, this thing is sick. Clear. There will be more. This is a new uh, SMG that I got. Oh God! Did I release them. Don't let him take cover in the lab. Easy to say until you had to fight the all face to face. The female isn't going to last long against this sort of firepower. Shepard, Cerberus City, hurry! We're on our way. Oh boy! Careful. There goes the next Shadow Broker. Could have sworn he was muttering to Sony the whole time. <laughs> Shotgun spare ammo. Shepard, Cerberus troops at Line checkpoint. Attempting to kill Krogan. Need assistance. I see the checkpoint. Uh, They're under move. fire. We have to get in there. The recoil on this thing's a little crazy, but. Activate checkpoint. Are you okay? Containment shield is holding. We'll try to repair if necessary. Can't speak for Krogan's health, however. I'm fine, Commander. Females kept secret. Possibly a mole in the STG could be indoctrinated. If no Krogan alliance with Turians, Reapers left unchallenged. We'll do more than challenge them. Shepard, meet us at next checkpoint. Server is likely to target. Oh, great. Hurry, next checkpoint. I'm hurrying. 38. Where's my Norman? I'm trying to draw some of their fire. Shepard, last attack compromised security systems. Attempting to compensate. Hang on, we're trying to get to you, Morton. That did it. Cerberus isn't fooling around. The end of a cycle always marks the beginning of chaos. I can't imagine what you must have seen. No, you can't. Arise one. Your orders are to hold position and block access to next checkpoint. Looks like Cerberus got some upgrades. I'll try to cover you. Push ahead. Head to head will get us ripped up, Shepard. We may be able to flank them. Keep moving. I'll handle them. We have to take out those turrets. Ah! 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 The Salarian is dead. <laughs> oh, God. Good. They're all dead. To the next checkpoint. I'm sure Cerberus we'll keep... isn't done. <laughs> keep rolling. By accident. Alright, let's hit activate. Oh, wait. Try again. Try again? Nice. We got access. Cerberus must have been tipped off. They got here too fast. Pick up the ammo. Oh god, is that hostile? Um It went down for a second there. The enemy is persistent! They're up top too! Find cover! Find cover! Stand over there! They could give us the high ground! Ooh. Arsenal Greaves? Ooh, he's scared. They're above us too. Actually, wait. There might be something down here. Let me check the corner. 
What well, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Would you look at that? <laughs> I'm glad I checked it. Cool. Check this corner. Nothing. Shepard runs so fast sometimes. It's actually kind of funny. Swap Javik's weapon next time I can. Right now he's using the particle rifle, and it's all right. But uh, I think I'd rather have him use the same weapon as me and Garrus. A power conduit must be nearby. Right here. Scorpion. What is that? Oh, it's a pistol. Excellent. Can clear us. Wait, another server squad. Don't let him near the female. Understood. Keep up the pressure. Oh god, move, 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 move. Playing the DLC or story right now. This is the story. This is a uh, pretty critical mission of this the story. How are you holding up? Containment shield strong, but not designed for direct fire. This isn't your problem, Commander. You don't know me, but I'd like to. Hang in there. How many more checkpoints? Just the landing area. Hope Erdnot Rex still waiting. Rex can't keep his hands off a fertile female. He'll be there. I'll see you up top. It's crazy how the, the Cerberus completely changes from two to three. Looks clear now. Let's get the hell out of here. I think we're almost there. Shepard, they found us. Under heavy attack. This is Phoenix 6. We've got the crew in on Frequency reinforcement is coming, Phoenix. Servers outside pod, Shepard. Need assistance. Reinforce the trolling room. Appear safe. Need final approval now, Shepard. I'm coming to activate the Shepherd, checkpoint. You must authorize release. Not anything else. Pod then transfers to loading area. Let's get you out of there. That's a big boy inside there, too. Shepard, I can't land until you deal with that thing. It's too dangerous. We're gonna like one shot it. Krogan has been acquired. We got this. Door is damaged. Can't get out. Stay clear. I've got this. Protect the Krogan, Shepard. She's vulnerable. That's some serious firepower. Maybe we can crack it open. There can be no limit. It's done. 
Yeah, watch out. Oh, still my got God. troopers left. Shepard, I think you did it. Looks clear from here. I'm coming in now. Nice. Let's make this quick. Only a minute? Let's get you out here. There you go. I can girl. handle myself, Rex. Women. Cerberus here. What do you want? Hmm. Commander, I'm hearing chatter you're brokering a treaty between the Krogan and the Turians. If I get Krogan boots on Palavin, the Turians promise me their support. And how does Cerberus get involved? I don't know. The elusive man is up to something. Then keep them at bay. I can't overstate what a victory this treaty would be for the Alliance. We'll need all the help we can get. How's the Prothean device coming? Alliance R&D has officially begun construction. The team has dubbed it Project Crucible. Project We're throwing Crucible. everybody who knows how to hold a hammer at it. This is going to be the most ambitious undertaking in human history. Will we get it done? I'm not saying it won't be a challenge, but our researchers tell me the designs are elegant, massive in scope, but strangely simple as well. We can do this, Shepard. You can do this. Never doubt that. No, sir. Good. Hack it out. Oh, cutscene. They're building the Death Star. Basically, the Reaper Death Star. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> point now you have the female Rex a cure for the rest of your people can come later that wasn't the deal the Palavin needs your reinforcements now we can't delay unless every Krogan gets the cure there's no Alliance Morton how long will it take to finish a cure need to synthesize base antigen from female also requires healthy male Krogan tissue We'll need a sample. You're looking at it. Acceptable. We'll need you to remain aboard Normandy for a procedure. Uh, let's hope the food's gotten better. Formulating a cure that works for every Krogan sounds like a tall order, Morden. Can you do it? Of course. Similar to Genophage Modification Project. Working against own alterations this time. Not as simple as garbage DNA blocking attachment sites. We'll need to counteract shutdown of redundant nervous system, adjust neurotransmitter levels. Got it. We'll create cure, Shepard. Don't need to worry. Then get started, Morden. And make it quick. Always do. We'll be in Medbay if you'd like to speak more. Eve requires tests. Eve? Female's real name unknown. Normandy, a human vessel. Human mythology seemed appropriate under circumstances. 
Suggest speaking with her. New perspective. Surprising in Krogan. Now, is there anything else? There's a small matter concerning a ship we've lost contact with. What happened? I'd rather discuss it... in private. Turian problems can't even come close to what I've got. What is it? Some of my men went missing. The rest of it we can discuss... somewhere else. I'll find you both in the war room. Just be ready to talk. All right, let's check the war terminal. We're getting there. Military strength's going up. Commander. You said one of your ships had gone missing? Crashed, actually. I couldn't speak in front of the Krogan. Our ship went down on Tuchanka. Now they're pinned by an guard of Reapers scouting the planet. What are your men doing there? I'm sorry. That's classified. But it's vital they be rescued. They must complete their original mission. It's a matter of... galactic peace. I'll do what I can. I appreciate your help. And understanding. That's all. Of course, Commander. All right, the Krogan team. Uh, Rex is in here somewhere too. There he is. Chat with him real quick. Hell of a show down there on Sirkesh. Just like the old days, Shepard. Right down to me pulling your ass out of the fire. I was the one with bullets flying at me. And I gave you the moral support to dodge them. Uh-huh. You said one of your squads is missing? They were scouting out the Rachni Relay. We've heard rumors of trouble in the area. Rachni? Thought that might get your attention. I have a favor to ask. It's big. Don't tell me they're back. All I know for sure is our scouts went silent as soon as they arrived. I've got Arlac Company, my best unit, on standby. You give the word, and they'll meet you there. I'll see what I can do. Get on it, Shepard. That's it for now, Rex. Let's get back to work. Anytime. Hey, Shepard. I like what you've done with the Normandy. Got tired of always hanging around a cargo bay before. I still don't have a window like Liara does, but it's progress. Wish I could knock some heads around with you, but duty calls. If the Solarian says my DNA is important, who am I to argue? All right, cool. We've got two missions set up. Uh, well, actually, well, technically got tons, but. <laughs> uh, Rachni, investigate what happened. Eesh, got a lot. Ooh, we got 12,000 credits. Cerberus as Reaper Tech. Commander, we've got new reports of Cerberus activity on Tachunka. Commander, nice to see you again. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the War Summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our War Room data is a direct result of her work. Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. In the lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Hmm. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now, Edie. Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. 
Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to our boards. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Okay, uh, got a lot of messages. Citadel Batarian Main Bray will be waiting. Cool. There's a request at a private meeting. Find her at Dock 42 on the Citadel, and we have N7 Cerberus attack. Alright, um, chat real quick. I am kind of hungry, so I'm gonna go eat something real quick. Uh, take like a quick, like, quick break, and then we will jump back in and do some more here. So for now, I'm just gonna chill for a few minutes. Um, I'll throw in some music in the VRB thing, and then once I get back, we'll pick right up. I'm just gonna eat something real quick. <laughs> yeah so i will be right back and then we'll we'll jump into this some more so talk to you guys soon here <laughs> 